I don't want to go, mommy. I don't want to go to the pirate ship. It's boring, stressful, and repetitive in there. I don't want to go. Okay, fine. Hey there, everyone. I'm Palky Fanoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time we left Calvalis, and we got to Fitzgold, and we talked to Eileen. And Leon told us about his master plan to stop the pirates from stealing lens and all stuff. So today, we are gonna, of course, start that plan. And I'm not really happy about that because I hate this part of the game. <laughs> really, really don't like it. But that is because I'm a completionist. If you don't care about the best of the best, this place is easy. So yeah, if you care about completion, save your game now and make sure you have all items that you need. Because this is gonna be one hell of a fight. A repetitive fight, that's for sure. Anyway, let's talk to Eileen and let's get this over with. <sighs> oh, you're here. Are you ready? No. But I have to. Okay, let's go. As I explained before, you must follow Leon's order from now on. Follow this kid? Hey! Do you want to say that he's too young? Pardon me, but we should select someone with more experience to be in charge here. By saying that, are you implying that I'm only a little helpless woman too? Oh hoo hoo! No, 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 I didn't mean. No. <laughs> I was just kidding! But don't worry, this is being done under Hugo's orders. President Hugo? I understand, then he's in charge now. Well, Leon, good luck. I won't disappoint you. I know you won't. I do not want... Okay, so let's just go out to the sea then and hope for the best. <sighs> I'm really not looking forward to this, I will admit. I just... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> This is probably one of the worst places in the game for me. <sighs> it's so boring to just sit around and wait. Well, you'll need to have some patience and make the best of our situation. You should be thankful that you have the opportunity to say these inane words with while things are peaceful. <sighs> That's it! I had it! So, whose turn is it next? Her loudness crashes up with her annoying presence. <laughs> wow. Nice one, Leon. Shut up, you brat! Why do we have to go on watch duty? This is so boring! I think I'm going insane! Find someone else to do it! What a useless woman. Fine. Mary, you go next. Okay. Wow, well, that was... wasn't hard at all. <laughs> ah! I wish they would just get it over with and attack us right now! That is the strangest thing I heard. You want to be attacked? Oh, give me a break! I think I know what you mean. Hey, Stan, you better not start saying weird things too. Remember, this is our strategy. To, l to let them attack us and get all of them in one swift blow. Well, yeah, you're right. Hmm. This strategy might turn out to be a mistake. What? What do you mean by that? I mean, they're not stupid. They might have recognized that this is just a trap. Or not. What's going on? The enemy is here. Oh, I guess they're stupid after all. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Not really. Well, let's go. Oh man. So, this is a insanely long and drawn out part of the game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to do post commentary over it. I'm going to tell you why I hate this place so much while we go along. So, yeah, let's go. Start the music and let's start the post commentary. Thank you, past me. It's time for me to take over. <laughs> so, the pirate ships. This place sucks. But, yeah, you already know that. <laughs> so, how this place work? You will, in all, go on four pirate ships. 
And the first pirate ship is the same all the time. But the second and the third ship. Which ship you go on depends on how fast you beat the first and the second ship. And I know I'm going a bit too fast here, but so you can't really see what treasure I get, but it will be in the video description. But anyway, you of course need to be quick and effective. If you're fast, you'll go to a pirate ship with good treasure. If you're slow, you will go to a ship with not so good treasure. And of course, if you're a completionist like me, you want the good ship. And that's why this play sucks so much, because I get stressed out of my mind. <laughs> and I hate being stressed out. And I'll admit, this took me almost an hour to record. It's not that bad, really, but it's just... I get so stressed out because the enemies gang up on you so much in this place. It is so annoying. But on the bright side though, I get a lot of levels in this place. <laughs> and I got a lot of skills and new spells that I'm gonna show later on. But I think I see that you'll see most of them while speeding up here. But you'll see them a little bit better later on. <laughs> As I said though, if you're not a completionist, this place isn't that bad really. It's You just need to go through it and if you actually go to the good ship, okay. That's a bonus I suppose. <laughs> And the reason why I say it's repetitive and boring is because the three first ships are exactly the same, except different treasure, of course. I don't know why they did that. It's just lazy. I, I know I say that a lot about this game, but three ships that are got the exact same layout, it's lazy. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, ranting over. You might be able to hear that the music in the background sounds a little bit familiar. Yeah, I decided that when I'm going to speed up now, I want the uh, the remade uh, battle theme from this game that is in uh, Tales of Cilia. I love it. You will hear two other uh, remade Tales themes in, on the two other ships, which I really, really like. <laughs> Tales of Cilia have some amazing remixes. <laughs> Which I sadly can't find many of them on YouTube for some reason. That's just stupid. But now we're actually at the end of the first ship. And also make sure you go to the left there and get that last treasure chest. Because when you talk to the boss of the ship you will be thrown into a battle and then you will end up outside afterwards. So make sure you get it. But that's the first ship, on to the second one and different music. God I love this one. It's of course the... Battle theme from Tales of Fantasia, still my favorite, and this remix is just amazing. <laughs> now, you might be able to see that the game looks a little bit different now, that is because I changed my plugin. The plugin that I had for not the black lines and all that in uh, the desert, it started lagging a little bit too much, so I just changed it back to the one I had before. As you see, the ship looks exactly the same as the other one. And there's a new spell, by the way, that Philia learned. Ice Tornado! And uh, Stan just got both a new skill and a new spell. But I will not be going over that yet. Except... I will. <laughs> Stan got Koga Hazan, or Tiger Blade. It's actually called Tiger Blade from the beginning. <laughs> that's, that's actually very cool. And the spell that he got was Firewall, but I don't show that off yet. But now that Philia got Ice Tornado, I will be spamming that left and right, because it is very good. Rudy also got ti Ice Tornado now, she actually got like three new spells already, but I don't show her off until the final ship, I believe. Because Mary started dying and... Well, I don't waste time on healing. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Leon also got Tiger Blade right now, but I don't, I don't know if we've actually seen it yet. But it does, yeah, take my word for it. <laughs> well, we have probably seen it, but it goes by so fast, so <laughs> good luck! <laughs> Oh man, I love this battle theme. Take Up the Cross is... It's still my favorite battle theme in the Tales series. It's the first one, and you know I'm a sucker for nostalgia and all, but... It's just such a great theme, it's insane. <laughs> but I believe we are actually getting remotely close to the end of the second ship too. Which means, we're gonna change the music up again. And well, I'll, I'll admit, I was pretty surprised that they actually put this music 
in Tales of Cilia. It surprised me. <laughs> yep, it's the Dao's battle theme. <laughs> I did not see that one coming. But I, I will admit I really like that uh, Mila, the main character, actually got a Dao's costume. It looks surprisingly well on her. <laughs> Which is kind of terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, I love that they actually have costumes in later games that let you play the music from earlier games. <laughs> I just... It's a great concept, and I really wish they continue with it, even though I... I know they will, at least for a little while longer. <laughs> but yeah, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> yes, this is actually one of those places you, you just sit down and you just... Are we there yet? No? Okay, fine. And uh, by the way, you probably saw there that it was a little jump cut. Apparently my footage of the third ship got incredibly glitchy. And for once, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say, screw it. I do not want to re-record this, okay? I know that's pretty bad of me, but it's the exact same ship for the third time. Do you really, really need to see it? And I will put the, the items you get in the video description, so it's... You don't really miss much, I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> if you really, really wanted to see the third ship, I'm sorry, but it's not really anything much... It's not really much to see. Anyway, what I got there was a disc called Wall of Flame, which will give the Firewall spell that Stan already got. But once again, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna show it right now, and I will equip it on a character, I believe, Rudy later on. But not right now. But anyway, of course, when you are on the third ship, the one that I don't show, <laughs> if you're on the good one, you are home free. You don't need to rush anymore. The reason why I... why I'm still speeding this up is because this is still incredibly boring. <laughs> The final ship is always the same, but that's not gonna stop me for changing the music one last time. Oh yeah, we needed a little bit of music from Tales of Eternia too in here, of course. <laughs> I really like this one too, not as much as the, at least the two others, because the Dao's theme is cool and all, but this one beats it by a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh, the fourth ship is always the same, it is, but it is different from the three others you've been on, so at least I show this. <laughs> and there is a door at the beginning which leads you to the uh, the boss's room, but that one's locked, so you have to go all the way around, and of course you have to find uh, a different way to get in there. But that's just good, because then you get all the good treasure. <laughs> Or Bute, I suppose, since we are on a pirate ship, but stealing from them. We are stealing pirate Bute! <laughs> so I guess I should have gone with my ARMY MATEYS voice through whole, the whole video, but... That would really, really destroy my voice. <laughs> yeah... You see now why I say that this place kinda really suck? It's just so slow, boring and repetitive, but now we are actually at the end. Frickin' finally. Ah, it is over. <laughs> so, at the right here, we have the teleporter that will take us straight to the boss's lair. So, of course, next time, we are gonna take out this pirate fleet once and for all. And to keep up with the style of this place, we also have an incredibly annoying boss. So, look forward to seeing me struggle. I know you want to. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.